Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Gary Soren Smith Center for the Fine and Performing Arts. We would like to ask you to please turn off all cell phones, pagers, and any sound-making devices. Videotaping, photography, and flash photography are strictly prohibited at this performance. For your safety in case of an emergency, please walk to the nearest exits, which are located to the front and the back of the theater. Thank you, and your performance will be starting shortly.
not being in love I can never get into the party Never really understood um, I started Odyssey when I was about like seven years old um, Before that I did Bollywood for a few years But then like I'd seen over the years my friends and like identity dancing And I thought you know I want to do that too I find Odyssey super interesting and like learning the classical dance would be um, really cool too See I was like oh yeah Um, I feel like Odyssey definitely like requires more like stamina and patience. I feel like Bollywood is more of a free form and um, I don't know, I always found like Odyssey, in my personal opinion, more difficult than Bollywood because you know it's like a technical dance. You have to think of expressions and like stamping and your torso. And yeah, so I find um, Odyssey to be distinctly different from Bollywood and something to kind of enjoy more also. Have you practiced any other Indian classical dance? Um, I've performed like folk, but just like sometimes for some functions, but like my main classical dance has been Odyssey Odyssey. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Ranga Puja is basically like, um, like, so like, so like a graduation or like a big celebration of all these years of dancing and hard work and you just um, take everything you've learned um, over the years and put it into this big performance, pretty long performance, um, about like an hour or so. And yeah, I think um, Ranga Puja is definitely a lot of hard work. You have to like commit physically and mentally, like long practices, you know, you have to, um, Sometimes you'll feel tired, but you have to keep going. And a lot of it, a lot of it is about, um, you know, like finding yourself and um, just growing as a dancer and showing everyone like over the years how much you've learned and um, yeah. I wish I would have known. I was stuck about being in love. So my favorite would have to be Dasavatar because like um, growing up I was like kind of I was with like the younger kids and I would see the older kids like doing the stuff that I'm learning and I also thought it was really cool and I was like oh I really hope I can learn that one day and then when Gaitandi suggested I do it for my own which I was like really excited um, at first I was a little hesitant I was like oh what if I can't do it like what if it's too hard but you know practicing a lot and like really like having Gaitandi tell me the story and like understanding it helped a lot and kind of get into the character and really understand um, like how much work goes into it pretty long dance and yeah and I love doing like like Abhinaz and like just combining the elements of like, like stamping and expression and I find it really fun. So I would say make sure you're like fully ready for it, like ready to commit to several months of practicing and stuff because it's a lot. Um, you know, before like an annual function and stuff, you should perform like one item. For the Ranga Puja, it's like five or six. And um, yeah, just make sure you're really ready for it and dance something you truly enjoy and you're willing to commit um, your time. And you have to have a lot of patience for it because sometimes, sometimes you have bad days and sometimes you have good days. So, but overall, it's a really um, great experience. You know, I learned a lot about myself as a dancer and I'm really glad that I chose to do it on the Puja. Memories you play in my mind. Boy, have yeah, so like I said, Ranku was just a lot of work um, getting all the stuff ready, like the pictures and like the food and the venue and stuff. That was a lot of work for my parents, but they've always been like super supportive and are willing to like drive me to practices and then you know do all the stuff for me, and I really appreciate that. And I think as much as it is like difficult for me, you know, learning the dances, perfecting the expressions, it was a lot of work for them, you know, managing and organizing such a big event. But I'm really glad they like helped me and stuck through it like all the way to the end. And they're gonna like be there to support me on the big day, which is something I'm really uh, glad about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, like the Rangpuj is a lot of hard work and my parents and all the volunteers involved have done a lot like for the venue, for the food, the decorations and I really appreciate them doing that because like it's a lot of hard work for me obviously, you know, um, like learning the dances, perfecting the expressions, but for them, you know, to give their time and support is something that um, I'm really glad that they were there for me and that they'll be there to support me on my big day. Guru Gayatri Joshi is a highly accomplished Odissi exponent and cultural connoisseur who has been dancing for more than 30 years. She has performed internationally in prestigious festivals and she touches everyone's heart and souls everywhere she goes with her sharp expression and grace. Aside from being a gifted dancer, she has brought tears and smiles to people's faces through her brilliant choreography. She is also an exceptional and nurturing teacher who has been teaching for the past 15 years. As an active volunteer for many non-profit organizations, she collaborates with many accomplished artists and gurus to make spectacular stage shows and dance productions. She is a software engineer by profession, but her passion for Odissi dance led her to form and establish her own school I Gurukul Odissi in 2007. Her dream is to share the great lineage of dance to the next generation while keeping its authenticity and purity. I Gurukul Odissi, affiliated to Prachin Kala Kendra Chandigarh University, preserves the Indian, Indian classical heritage, heritage by promoting Odissi dance and music. music. Odissi classes class are structured, structured interactive, interactive and inclusive. We focus, we focus on building foundational techniques and polishing dance, dance movement to ensure, ensure that every dance, dance, dance holistic growth under the direct guidance of Guru Gaitri Joshi. The Aigurdu faculty consists of graduated students, renowned dance owners of Chao and Manipuri dance forms, yoga and spiritual healing along with accomplished masters and musicians from Odisha. Students are nurtured, equipped with the right knowledge, tools and techniques to understand the social and spiritual context and overcome the cross-cultural challenges. Some of the popular and powerful Vedic concepts and prayers such as Vaishnava Janta, Panchabhuta, Sankhya, Abhimuta, and Navadita Bhakti, and more are turned into Indian classical dance and action, involving all students, teachers, musicians, and other schools and institutions. Apply.
Hello everyone, my name is Anjit and I'm 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 Anjit and Today, Today, we have some wonderful MCs to host, to host this program, program who consists of Manoj Uncle, Sanunani, and Sulagana. All of them have been involved, involved with Thamana from early on in their life and are, and here, are here to carry, carry on, on the show. Thank, Thank you, you, you so much, much for, for coming, coming today. today. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much for coming, coming today. today. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much for coming, coming today. today. Thank you, you so much, much for coming, coming today. Thank you, you so much, much for coming, coming today. Thank you. Thank you. Namaskar. Namaskar. Good, Good afternoon. afternoon. My name, my name is Sujanas, and it's my pleasure to also officially welcome, welcome you to Tamana's Rana Puja. Puja. I'd like, I'd to, like take to take a moment, a moment to introduce my relationship with Tamana, or as I like to call her, Tamuli. She is my little sister, and I've been blessed to see her grow up into a wonderful young woman over the years. I remember, I remember as a child, child our families would lovingly call Kamana Chandi to describe her never ending energy, 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 loud presence, and ability, and ability to refocus attention, attention to herself, to herself, to herself in, any in any space. space. Yeah, For, those For those who may not know, know in Hindu scripture, scripture and mythology, mythology, we have a goddess, goddess named Chandi, who I became a great follower of while growing up. We view our goddesses as multifaceted, containing the duality of both grace and strength. The goddess, the goddess Jundi, Jundi is known for her shape or power. power. And, I and I can see, can see how, just how just as Jundi, Jundi transforms, transforms Thamana has, has to. She's, she's gone from this highly energetic and dynamic version of herself into one filled with grace, compassion, compassion and confidence. And confidence. All, of All of which you will see in her dance today. today. I'm so, I'm so proud, proud of her pursuing this from the Bridget Jundi and can't wait for you all to see her performance. Hi everyone. Hi everyone, Namaskar. Namaskar. I'm, I'm Salagna Mohani, Mohani and, and I'd like, I like to officially also welcome you to Tamdas Rana Puja. So I want to say, say a little bit about, about how I know Tamdas. So Tamdas, um, um, I've known Tamdas since, since uh, she, she was born basically. We grew up together, together and, and she is basically my sister and my best friend. And we always stay over at each other's houses. We basically sit every day together. We are inseparable, as other people would like to say, and I think so too. So that's why I am extremely proud of Damana for completing her Ranga Puja today, as she's one of the most graceful dancers I know. And I'm honored to have gotten to dance with her over the last five years. Although we dance together, Damana always stood out to everyone in dance class. She always, she always remembered remember the steps, the steps that we learned, learned came to came class, class on, on time, time or before time, time, and was, of course, a beautiful, a beautiful dancer, dancer that everyone put their eyes on. She's extremely, She's extremely hard working, 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 and I'm, and I'm so, so excited for you to see all the work, work dedication, dedication, and passion she put, she put into completing her Rangar project today. So I really hope you guys enjoy. I also, at this moment, I would like to remind everyone of some desired house rules. Please, Please no unauthorized un 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 videography, no flash photography, no food or drinks inside the auditorium. Put your smartphones and your children on side of the If you have children, please take strategically, place them near an aisle. But most importantly, for all your aunts and uncles, I know you guys are out there. You can talk to your friends at the mission over job, so no chit-chatting things during the performance. And please, and please do not, do not enter, enter or leave between, between the program, the program as, as it's disturbing, disturbing to the, the artist and, and the performer. The performer. Thank, Thank you. you. Now, now I would now like, I would like to, invite to invite my esteemed musicians. musicians. Some, of Some of them have traveled, traveled all the way from India and some were here local to, to us. us. Dr. Dr. Sandeep 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 on vocals. vocals. Mm -hmm. 
गुरु स्वामी दिलीप We will We begin, will begin this, this auspicious, auspicious event, event by offering flowers, flowers to Lord Jagannath. For, For this ceremony, ceremony I would like, I would like to invite Dr. Anjali Jagannath and Sir Jagannath, Sir Prabha Mishra and Kishore Mishra, to come, to come up to the stage, stage and offer flowers, flowers to Lord Jagannath and, and receive his blessings on this momentous occasion. occasion. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Jai 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 And, and we are all like this and this whole, and this whole, whole thing, thing is called lila so, so from that we all, we all are like this and we all are dancers so i would so welcome, welcome you and i would and invite, I would invite you, you to join, join me, me to chant five poems to down the cross right now and help, and help energize this place if i nice this place so that some like can act a magic performance we all are all in chant chant that so please join me to hug together palms together keep your eyes closed and let's do this and let's do this all to create a spiritual vibe right now we all, all are all spiritual beings having living experience. experience let's reestablish re that fact in our mind and hearts take five long and deep breaths breath. and every, every breath, breath you're inspiring, inspiring yourself, yourself and everyone, everyone around, around. lord jagannath is there, there in front, front and all and around all within, all within. So let's take this job to make this, this show, show this performance, performance a wonderful, a wonderful a memorable, memorable one, one. and bless the man of the wonderful performance that is going to offer to the Lord Jagannath. Right now, let's raise both hands up, keep your palms open, eyes closed, blessing this in sky, just like you're going to down the past and you're going to feel it. So keep the heart open, mind open, chant five of the poems along with me, so breathe in.
Hi, before we continue the show, um, I just want to remind everyone again, again, please put your phones on silent and no flash photography because it will interrupt your answer. So I would like to introduce Guru Gaitri Joshua Damana. And, and Guru Gaitri 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 is a highly accomplished oyster dancer, dancer who has who been has dancing for more than 30 years. years. This, is, this her is her ninth line of puja, which, which adds another, another beautiful, beautiful feather, feather in her cap as a magnificent glue and guide. And, and for who we are here, here for today, Damana Mishra. Damana Mishra is the daughter of Dali and Kishore Mishra. She has been learning oyster under Guru Gaitri Joshi since the age of seven. She has completed four OEC education, education Sangeet Kala Madhman Amti, or the final year of high school, school from Bhaskar Academy. Academy. She, has she has performed both solos and in groups in several, several events, events festivals, festivals and fundraisers, and fundraisers such as OSA, I Go for Annual Functions, Abhimukta, Sankhya, FIA, and JCC, California Annual Sansan, along with many more. She is also a sister in teaching students during her weekly dance classes. This year, she graduated, graduated from Santa Clara High, High School and will be attending UC Davis with a major of biology. biology. And, and she's, she's on the track, on track of being, of being a, doctor. a doctor. She's the she's first degree black, black belt and was and part of Interact, a community, a community service club throughout, throughout high school. school. Going forward, she hopes to keep dancing after her own puja and keep the tradition. Now I'd like to introduce Sansani. Do the Kuru Kuru What is what the Guru Tai ceremony? ceremony? Why is, Why it, is done? it done? The word the Guru means to remove darkness. Dark. The, teacher the teacher or Guru attempts, attempts to remove, to remove ignorance, ignorance, lack of self confidence, lack of self motivation, and other negativities from their students, from their students so, that so that the original talent and, and shining nature of the student, of the student come, come to prominence. The Guru or teacher, along with the mother, father, and guests, is considered like God. So the so Guru the disciple, disciple bond, bond is a special, is a special relationship. relationship. The time the of the Guru, the guru symbolizes, symbolizes that the Guru, the guru has transferred our knowledge and energy, and energy to the disciple and gives her permission, permission to carry, to carry forward, forward the tradition, the tradition of, dance of dance to another, to another generation. generation. It is a it symbolic, is a symbolic time, time of the disciple of the to the tradition, tradition of dance. Of dance.
Before we begin, I would like to take a moment to talk about Odyssey and Rampuja. Odyssey, Odyssey is the, is the art, art of Odisha, and, and it's the oldest, oldest form of Indian, Indian classical dance, dance originating, originating in the temple of Juggernaut in Puri, Odisha. Many, Many dance, dance critics have expressed, expressed their opinion that Odyssey is, is the most graceful dance, dance form among, among all Indian, Indian classical, classical dances. dances. For those, for those of you who are attending an Odyssey dance, dance performance, performance for the first time, time Odyssey dance was originally developed in Odisha, India as a form of worship in temples. Many, Many dances, dances retell, retell stories, stories about Krishna, Krishna and, other and other deities through hand, through hand gestures and facial expressions. expressions. Odyssey, Odyssey has survived for over 2,000 years, years as an oral, oral tradition, tradition, but then, but then fell, fell into decline. decline. In, an In an effort, effort to, preserve to preserve Odyssey, Odyssey a, group a group of dedicated, dedicated dance dancers, groups, scholars, scholars, and musicians, and musicians set forth to reconstruct this form by referencing classical dance texts ancient dance, dance sculptures, sculptures, and the remaining, remaining dancers. dancers. In doing, in doing so, so, they refashioned Odyssey, Odyssey into a classical Indian, Indian dance, dance form, form with formalized movements and a standard, and a standard repertoire, repertoire to be presented, to be presented on, on the stage. stage. Distinct, Distinct style from other, other classical, classical Indian, Indian dance, dance forms, Odyssey, 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 Odyssey is known for its lyrical, lyrical grace, grace and, and charm, charm. Its, its rounded, rounded fluid, fluid movements, and its sculptural poses. What is what Ranga, is Ranga Puja? Puja? What are we what here, are we for, here today? for today? Ranga, Ranga Puja. Puja. Ranga, Ranga means stage, stage and Puja, and Puja means, means offering. offering. Ranga, Ranga Puja, Puja is an Odyssey solo dance, dance offering. offering. It is the it beginning, is the beginning of, the of a dance journey. journey. The, objective the objective is not, not just becoming, becoming a great dancer, dancer but being but a great, great person. person. So in so its, in its true, true sense, Ranga Puja sets an important milestone in the life of an Odyssey dancer. Which brings, Which brings a great, a great deal, deal of self-awareness self to find the thoughts, thoughts words, and, and actions to be the to best, best version of yourself on stage, on stage or off stage. Off stage. Today, Domino will be ably assisted, ably assisted by the musicians, musicians who have come, come all the way from India to create a little little here. At this, At this time, time, please put, put all your cell phones on vibrate. vibrate. If you if have you small children, place yourself strategically next to an aisle. And if and you if have you a have chattering, chattering neighbor, neighbor, well, you know, well, what, you to know what to do. And I've, and been, I've asked been asked to remind you that during the performance, performance, the doors, the doors will remain were closed. Made. So please refrain from leaving during a piece and attempt to come after or before one. So without further ado, let us begin the program. We begin with Mangalacharan. Rudra Mangalacharan, Rudrashtakam. Mangalacharan is the first dance of the Odissi repertoire. This is a dance of invocation offered for an auspicious beginning in which the dancer offers salutations to Ishtadeva, prayers to the gods, Mother Earth, the Guru, and the fellow audience members and universe. The prayer in this Mangalacharan is a salutation for Lord Shiva. Rudrashtakam is written by Goswami Tulsidas. Rudrashtakam narrates and defines the qualities and deeds of Shiva. It includes many characteristics, attributes, and motives associated with Shiva, including the destruction of Tripura, the annihilation of Kamadeva, and so forth. The symbols depicted in this dance are related to the life and deeds of Shiva, or Rudra. Rag Marika, Tal Marika, Lyrics Goswami Tulsidas, Music Composition Guru Sopneshwar Chakraborty, Dance Choreography Guru Gayatri Joshi, Rudra Mangalacharan, Rudrakshatan. Thank you. 
jagendra गौरंग विरंग मनोभूत कोटि प्रभा शरीर 
ಪುರನ್ನೋಲಿ ಕಲ್ಲೋಲಿ ಚಾರು ಗಂಗಾ ಲಸಾಲ ಬಾಲೆಂದು ಕಂಠೆ ಬುಧಂಗ ಚಲತ್ ಕುಂಡಲಂಗು ಶೃಣೇತ್ರಂಗ್ ವಿಶಾಲ ಪ್ರಸನ್ನಾನಂದಿ ಲಸಂಥಲ ಮೃಗಾಧೀಶ ಚಂಬಾಂಬರಂ ಮುಂಡಮಾಲ ಪ್ರಿಯಂ ಶಂಕರಂ ಶರ್ವನಾಥ ಭಜಾಮಿ ಪ್ರಿಯಂ ಶಂಕರಂ ಶರ್ವನಾಥ
that was a very hard one to begin with mangala charan and tamna did pretty well isn't it let's give her a big round of applause as we all can see that to be a, on the stage and to be a dancer we definitely need lot of strength lot of stamina lot of balance isn't it like that's what comes from the earth element that's what mangala charan is all about building earth element building the strength that confidence that preparedness in the early part of her life and in order to do that we have to understand how our body works so we'll be infusing a little bit of yoga here and there right so in order to understand the balance dynamics we have to appreciate the presence of the sun energy and moon energy in our body the right side represents the shiva who at uh, thamana just performed about lord shiva is the consciousness and the left side of her body represents the shakti or the nature right so when the left and right combine together it gives a beautiful balance so for that we'll be introducing some breathing elements today and we'll be learning some simple breathing techniques that can really balance our mind balance our body would you like to participate yes thank you so before that i would like to take this moment i just create a curiosity about what are those techniques that we can bring balance to our body and mind and i will introduce some of the technical aspects later on but right now this is the moment to introduce our lovely musicians who have come all the way from india so i take this opportunity to introduce one by one and i'll request them to play something of their taste to convey a message to the audience and to the world dr sangeeta gosai on vocals dr sangeeta gosai a top grade artist of all india radio and doordarshan was an associate professor in utkal university of culture and chief executive of gkcm which is guru kheruchran mahapatra odisha research center is renowned scholar and vocalist was born into music and has always been associated with music she obtained her phd in music from prachin kala kendra chandigarh dr gosai is a playback singer for odia and hindi films and tv serials her songs have created a special place in the heart of thousands of odia music lovers all over the world she has two phd's one in english literature and the other in music she recently hit 55 years of music after starting vocals at the age of can you guess 5 <laughs> so dr gosai please धरारे तुम जन्म हसुचि आकाशे तुम फूल फुटी धरारे तुम नदी बहुचि धरारे तुम सगर तो आज नचि नचि जाए सगर तो आज नचि नचि जाए तुम से नेह परस भूली नाही फूल फुटी धर रे तुम नदी बहुचि धर रे तुम lovely with that beautiful color sari i think she herself is looking like a beautiful flower so right now we'll have a guru sapneswar chakravarti on sitar guru sapneswar chakravarti started learning sitar from his father amrish chakravarti during his childhood he then learned from dr pradeep kumar chakravarti during his teenage years he ultimately obtained his bachelor and masters of music from akhil bharatiya gandharva mandal pune As a faculty at GKCM Odisha Research Center, he holds the position of a sitar guru, a renowned sitar virtuoso. He has composed music for many eminent Odisha dancers and also has directed music for a number of TV serials and festivals. He is also a staff member at Ayurukul Odissi and has composed many Odissi pieces for this institution. He has been with us on this journey for more than a decade and has been instrumental. in all the ranga pujas and this is the ninth one of aiguru kalodi se sapna sir ji
<laughs> As his name suggests, I, can, I think he can take anyone to a street of dream anytime that you listen to him. We have Munjuti Simadri on flute. Mr. Simadri is a musician with multiple talent. As a very acclaimed artist of Odisha, he can play saxophone, clarinet, flute, shehenai, and trumpet with so much of ease. No wonder it runs in his gene. Like all his ancestors, Simadri also joined the opera, opera world in his hometown and worked here there from 1986 to 2000 until he was picked up by a local entrepreneur. Of course, his exceptional talent had to cross boundaries. He is an A-grade artist of All India Radio and Durdarshan Katak. As a solo performer and an accompanying artist, he has accompanied great artists of India, Manade, Suresh Wadkar, Mohammad Aziz, Usha Mangeshkar, and Sabir Kumar, to name a few. He is one of the leading accompanists in flute for Odissi dance. His devotion, sincerity, and simplicity are well reflected in his music, which of course captivates all his listeners. Simatriji. Thank you, always so calm and peaceful. Just like his name, Seema, it always crosses the boundaries. Guru Buddhanath Swain on Mardala. Guru Buddhanath Swain obtained his master's in music from Utkal Sangit Mahavidyala in Utkal University. He worked as a Mardal teacher and a Mardal accompanist in Rithyagram Dance Village in Bangalore for five years. He has performed with leading gurus in many festivals within and outside of India. He was awarded the Talamani award by Sursingar in Samsad, Mumbai. He is also a staff member at Igurukul Foundation, Igurukul Odyssey, and has performed in many Igurukul programs. He received many awards, including the best Mridangist award from the Music Academy in 2006. Looks like his intelligence is not just confined to his brain, it has been transferred to his fingertips also. Now, um, we have Dilip Acharyaji on vocals. Dilip Acharya is a noted vocalist of Indian music. He holds the degree of Sangeet Visharad in Hindustani music from Prachin Kalakendra, Chandigarh. He is an upgraded artist of All India Radio with the capability of singing a larger variety of songs. Dilip has performed in many concerts in US, India and Africa as well. 
as an accomplished harmonium player he has accompanied many prominent artists of hindustani classical music devotional sufi and ghazal and folk to name a few uh, as a composer director arranger organizer dilip ji has created a niche for himself along with his professional contrast of it he is an it professional and also very passionate musician so uh, and also re very recently we had honored him at khalas re award in osa conventions in sacramento just in july itself so let's welcome dilip ji mo pari ashrit to ma koti achanti tuma pari ashraya mo goti nahanti mo pari ashrit to ma koti मोगोटिए नहंते त्रिभुवन पति हे अगतिर गति हे मोपरि आश्रित तुम कोटि it's a, such a beautiful composition like it one to many just like that we have millions of billions of people who can surrender but there is only one who holds that power to be surrendered to so that's the lord jagannath himself thank you very much let's give a big round of applause to all the musicians thank you good we'll continue with our program thank you our next piece is gavati pallavi pallavi means blooming pallavi is a pure dance item in which a raga is elaborated through eye movements torso movements body postures and intricate footwork pallavi starts with a slow graceful lyrical movement of the eyes neck torso and feet and slowly builds into a crescendo to climax in a fast tempo at the end the name of the dance item is always based on the raga of the song accompanying it rag gavati tal jhampa music composition swapneswar chakravarti rhythm composition guru dhanveswar swai and dance choreography guru gayatri joshi gavati pallavi Dinaka 
ini sate 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 kata 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 kata
piece of pallavi and as you all know pallavi means blossoming you know she was literally blossoming on the stage as you know the first decade of her life was represented by mangala charan where we build the foundation the second decade is all about blossoming into beautiful being that we all are and for that we need balance so before the next item comes i will not speak about it but i can guarantee that with this technique that we are going to do right now your experience of the dance will be 20 times much richer and more intimate with you. And I'll explain the reason why it is so. Good? So as I talked about the balancing part, so now let me introduce two energy systems in our body, the sun and moon. So this is in Sanskrit or yoga terms called Ida and Pingala. Like the moon is called Ida and the Pingala is the sun energy. Right side is the sun, left side is the moon. So in order to receive the grace of the moon or the mind, 
we need to be breathing from the left nostril. And how do you do that? We have to practice certain times left nostril breathing. It's called Chandra Bhedan Pranayam. Very beautiful practice for uh, preparing to receive the grace of the goddess. Okay? So what you do is just simple use these two fingers, index and middle finger, and put them in between the two eyebrows. Right? So in between the two eyebrows, if you put it, it also points to the pineal gland. And just use your thumb to control the right nostril. So close your right nostril and breathe in to the left and breathe out to the right. And again, breathe in to the left, breathe out to the right. We'll do five times. Again, breathe in to the left, breathe out to the right, like that. So we'll make sure that our left nostril is more active with this practice. So good, keep these two fingers, keep it in between the two eyebrows, pointing into pineal gland, just think about that. Thumb controls the right nostril, close your right nostril. First exhale to the left, just to exhale. Then inhale to the left, count of five. Then close your left and open your right and exhale to the right. A little longer, maybe count of ten. Then again, close your right, open your left, breathe in. Close your left, open your right, breathe out. Inhale to the left. Exhale to the right. Two more times. Inhale to the left. Exhale to the right. Last one, inhale to the left. Exhale to the right. And just stay calm for a moment and let your mind see the miracle and the magic. Next item. Thank you. So how you guys like that performance, Gavati Pallavi? So um, I would just like to introduce Guru Gaitu Joshi, Tamna's guru, a little more. Um, so Guru Gaitu Joshi has performed internationally in prestigious festivals like Gwanark, International Oisi, San Francisco Ethnic Dance Festival, Global Natya Festival, Angkor Wat, and many more. She touches everyone's hearts and souls everywhere she goes with her sharp expressions and grace. To witness her dance is to see the ancient temple sculptures come to life. When she performs, she takes you to a journey of the story she is portraying. She has been awarded many awards such as Galashri, Natya Ratna, Mahendra Varman, creative and creative choreographer, and of course, many more. Aside from being a gifted dancer, she has brought tears and smiles to people's faces through her brilliant choreography. She's also an exceptional and nurturing teacher who has been teaching for the past 15 years. She teaches her students how to mature, not only as dancers, but also as confident and passionate leaders ready to take on the world. She influences her students to strive for greatness in the field of dance and in life. Her dream is to influence the next generation to promote Indian culture and this beautiful Indian classical dance that we all lovingly call Oisi. She's a full-time software professional, mother of two, and married to yoga master Mana Joshi, living in the California Bay Area. This is her 11th Ranga Puja, or 9th Ranga Puja, sorry, which adds another beautiful feather in her cap as a magnificent Oisi guru and guide, once again. And right now, yeah, can we have a big round of applause for Guru Gaiti Joshi? Now, I would like to introduce a friend of Tamana's, Ayatra Sarkar, who Tamana has danced with for many, for many years, to say a few words. So can I please Ayatra Sarkar on stage? Southwest of the grand city of Bhuvaneshwar, there lie two caves. Udayagiri and Khandagiri. These are no normal caves, as the walls are embellished in carvings and sculptures dated more than 2,000 years old. In the smallest and one of the most meaningful of the caves, Rani Gumpha, there lays the earliest sighting of what we know today as Odissi. The journey of Odissi starts with Mangalacharan, seeking permission from the gods to step on Mother Earth 
and it ends with moksha, a devotion to dance and the emancipation of the dancer's soul. This Odissi repertoire is performed in a Ranga Puja, and not only does it have great significance to our cultural past, but to each individual dancer as well. What seems easy at a glance is the result of tremendous effort incorporating body movements, expression, emotion, and so much more gracefully to reach this level. We all start off at the same place under our guru's guidance to master the basic stepping and choka position. Choka position itself took me well over one year to master. What starts as a dance over time and practice becomes at the real. The stories that can be conveyed by the power of a dancer's eyes and the time and practice and the elegance and difficulty it takes to perfect a single step makes it so special. One of the things I'm most grateful for is the community we have built at iGuruKul. Guru Gayatri and Manoj Uncle have created a comfortable and collaborative space where all are welcomed and loved. In fact, many of the dancers here in this auditorium have been coming to our classes every week for years, and we have all grown alongside one another. Through this community, I got the opportunity to meet a wonderful person, Tamanna. It seems like only yesterday when we were getting ready to perform Deepang Jyoti and Achitam Keshavam. I can't begin to comprehend. It has been 11 years since then. Our whole batch knows her to be one of the most hardworking and diligent people we have ever met. And not only does she perform with all the elements, she is a source of inspiration to us all. For every dance we revisited after a while, we would all forget the steps somewhere along the way. But we were all astounded by her ability to remember every single step. Tamana has not only helped us with Odyssey, but she has shared her advice, her experience, her tips for high school, and so many more aspects of life. She is humble, and as you have obviously seen, she is a stellar performer. It makes me sad to think we won't be seeing her every week from now onwards, but we all know she's going to accomplish so much in her life. Tamana, congratulations. We are so proud of you for all the hard work that you have done to reach your special moment, and we are absolutely enthralled for what great things your future will hold. Thank you. Thank you, Ayatra, for giving a wonderful introduction to Odyssey and to your classes and everything, and also including Tamanna. Ayatra was the magnificent MC of one of our programs that we released in the time of COVID. Um, it was Abhimukta, all dedicated to women's empowerment. And I remember a um, few of the quotes. Uh, I just uh, remember two quotes. She said, like, think like a queen. A queen is not afraid of to fail. Failure is another stepping stone to greatness. This is not, nobody like uh, this is coming from Oprah Winfrey. The next one, you educate a man, you educate a man. You educate a woman, you educate a generation. Isn't it true? That's why they call mothers are the first guru of the child. So talking about guru, Guru Gayatri Joshi is honored to declare her own guru, Guru Gayatri, Guru Jyoti Appa, Guru Jyoti Raut. She is also present here right now and her grace is bright enough this space. So we welcome you, Jyoti Appa. So we'll get a chance to hear from you. Thank you for being here. Namaste. So now I will ask Sulu to continue her program. So I would like to continue to the next item. It's an abhinaya, which means um, expressions. Abhinaya is a dramatic mime conveying the meaning or mood of a song, tune, or rhythm. The dancer plays all the roles without the aid of props, sets, or specific costumes, rapidly shifting from woman to man, you to adult, or God to demon. Devi Anandamai, our next item, is a story of good and evil, victory of good over evil, and of course, Devi, the goddess. Devi is the supreme power of the universe. She's a personification of nature, creation, and destruction. She has many names and many forms. In some forms, she is benign and gentle, while in other forms, she is dynamic and ferocious, destroying the evil. But in all forms, 
She is helpful to the good. She is anandamai, the blissful person who brings extreme happiness and ecstatic joy. The story of Devi. As mythology, as mythology Devi eliminated many demons like Sumbha, Nisumbha, Chanda, Munda, Raktavij, and Mahisasura, and saved the earth. These demons meditated thousands of years and went through severe penance and purification rituals so that no man or demon could destroy them. Once the boons are granted, they unleash the reign of terror on earth and become threat to the cosmic stability. The gods assembled into a conclave and emitted their energies together, which took the form of the warrior goddess Durga, that is, the invincible. Then all the gods gave their divine weapon to that supreme power to slay all the demons. Now I would like to call Tamana up for a demonstration. O oh, Devi, you are the blissful goddess who lives in the golden mountain. Janda and Munda, two lesser asuras, came across Devi and were overwhelmed by her beauty. They decided to tell their bosses, Sumbha and Nisumbha, about her. Immediately, Sumbha and Nisumbha went to meet Devi to propose a marital alliance, but Devi rejects their proposal. She challenges them to a fight, declaring if they defeat her, she will agree to their proposal. Furious, the demonic brothers send an army of demons like Janda Munda and Raktavij to abduct her. But Devi and her lion steed manage to slay the entire army, including Janda, Munda, Sumpa, and Nisumpa. Raktavij had a boon that whenever a drop of his blood fell on the ground, a duplicate Raktavija would be born at that spot, creating innumerable other Raktavijas. At this point, the goddess created Gali, another form of Devi, who stretched her tongue over the earth and licked up each drop of blood pouring from Raktavija's body, and Raktavij was destroyed. Her final battle was with Mahisasura, but Durga beheads him with her chakra, arrow, and trident. Mahisasura keeps turning, keeps turning himself from lion to buffalo, charging Durga. The three worlds return to their ordinary state of being rid of a great evil. These, these stories has a message to the mankind. Each one of us has the power to limit the eliminate the evil and the divine. Nature always supports the one with the good and noble intentions. Dal, Jati, Rag, Shankar Varna, traditional music composition, music arrangement, Swapneswar Chakravati, and dance composition, Guru Gaitri Joshi. Devi Anandamai.
Can we have another round of applause for that amazing performance? So now we will have a short break, short meaning 20 minutes, very short. Um, and you can get food and drinks outside, but please refrain from bringing them back into the auditorium. Also, please do not come backstage because Domina is getting ready for a second half of her performance at this moment. You will find, as I said before, snacks and tea outside. So enjoy and come back in 20 minutes, which means 5.30. Do you guys hear that right? 5.30? Yeah? Okay, cool. 20 minutes. Have fun, guys. Thank you. seven years old. Um, before that, I did volleyball for a few years, but then, like, I'd seen over the years my friends and, like, I did dancing, and I thought, you know, I want to do that too. I find Odyssey super interesting, and, like, learning the classical dance would be um, really cool too. See, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, don't get any I feel like Odyssey definitely like requires more like stamina and patience. I feel like Bollywood is more of a free form and um, I don't know, I always found like Odyssey, in my personal opinion, more difficult than Bollywood because you know it's like a technical dance. You have to think of expressions and like stamping and your torso and yeah, that's so why I find um, Odyssey to be distinctly different from Bollywood and something to kind of enjoy more also. Have you practiced any other Indian classical dance? Um, I've performed like folk, but just like sometimes for some functions, but like my main classical dance has been Odyssey at least. Yeah, so Ranga Puja is basically like, um, like, so it's like a graduation or like a big celebration of all these years of dancing and hard work and you just um, take everything you've learned um, over the years and put into this big performance, pretty long performance, um, about like an hour or so. And yeah, I think um, which is definitely a lot of hard work. You have to like commit physically and mentally, like long practices, you know, you have to um, 
sometimes you'll feel tired, but you have to keep going. And a lot of it, a lot of it is about, um, you know, like finding yourself and um, just growing as a dancer and showing everyone, like over the years, how much you've learned. And um, yeah. I wish I would have known. I was stuck about being in love. So my favorite would have to be Dasavatar because, like, um, growing up, I was. Like kind of I was with like the younger kids and I would see the older kids like doing the Siftar and learning and I also thought it was really cool and I was like, oh, I really hope I can learn that one day and then when Gaitandi suggested I do it for my Rangu Puja, I was like really excited. Um, at first I was a little hesitant, I was like, oh, what if I can't do it, like what if it's too hard, but you know, practicing a lot and like really like having Gaitandi tell me the story and like understanding it helped a lot and kind of get into the character and really understand um, like how much work goes into it pretty long dance and yeah and I love doing like like Abhinaz and like just combining the elements of like, like stamping and expressions and I find it really fun. So I would say make sure you're like fully ready for and like ready to commit to several months of practicing and stuff because it's a lot. Um, you know, before like in annual function and stuff, you should perform like one item. Rest of the puja, it's like five or six. And um, yeah, just make sure you're really ready for it and dance is something you truly enjoy and you're willing to commit um, your time. And you have to have a lot of patience for it because sometimes sometimes you have bad days and sometimes you have good days. So, but overall, it's a really um, great experience. You know, I learned a lot about myself as a dancer, and I'm really glad that I chose to do my own. Memories you play in my mind. Boy, have yeah, so like I said, Rangpu is a lot of work. Um, getting all the stuff ready, like the pictures and like the food and the venue and stuff. That was a lot of work for my parents, but they've always been like super supportive and are willing to like drive me to practices and then you know do all the stuff for me and I really appreciate that. And I think as much as it is like difficult for me, you know, learning the dances, perfecting the expressions, it's a lot of work for them, you know, managing and organizing such a big event. But I'm really glad they like helped me and stuck through it like all the way to the end and they're gonna like be there to support me on the big day, which is something I'm really uh, glad about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the Rangpuja is a lot of hard work and my parents and all the volunteers involved have done a lot like for the venue, for the food, the decorations and I really appreciate them doing that because like it's a lot of hard work for me obviously you know um, like learning the dances, perfecting the expressions but for them you know to give their time and support is something that um, I'm really glad that they were there for me and that they'll be there to support me on my big day.
Guru Gayatri Joshi is a highly accomplished Odissi exponent and cultural connoisseur who has been dancing for more than 30 years. She has performed internationally in prestigious festivals and she touches everyone's heart and souls everywhere she goes with her sharp expression and grace. Aside from being a gifted dancer, she has brought tears and smiles to people's faces through her brilliant choreography. She is also an exceptional and nurturing teacher who has been teaching for the past 15 years. As an active volunteer for many non-profit organizations, she collaborates with many accomplished artists and gurus to make spectacular stage shows and dance productions. She is a software engineer by profession, but her passion for Odissi dance led her to form and establish her own school, I Gurukul Odissi, in 2007. Her dream is to share the great lineage of dance to the next generation while keeping its authenticity and purity. I Gurukul Odissi, affiliated to Prachin Kala Kendra Chandigarh University, preserves the Indian classical heritage by promoting Odissi dance and music. Odissi classes are structured, interactive and inclusive. We focus on building foundational techniques and polishing each dance movement to ensure every dancer's holistic growth under the direct guidance of Guru Gayatri Joshi and team. The Aigurukul faculty consists of graduated students, renowned dance exponents of Chau and Manipuri dance forms, yoga, and spiritual healers, along with accomplished masters and musicians from Odisha. Students are nurtured, equipped with the right knowledge, tools, and techniques to understand the social and spiritual context and overcome the cross cultural challenges. Some of the popular and powerful Vedic concepts and prayers such as Vaishnava Janto, Panchabhuta, Sankhya, Abhimukta and Navavida Bhakti and more are turned into Indian classical dance productions involving all students, teachers, musicians and other schools and institutions. Applied Yoga and Mindfulness based positive life skills trainings offered by wellness guru Manoj Joshi has truly turned I Guru Kulo DC, a life-changing platform for many. Each year, the interested students appear for formal examinations with Prachin Kala Kendra. Students showcase their talents at various cultural shows within the USA and internationally. Selected students, once graduated, get a chance to join iGurukul faculty and make the organization stronger. This makes them feel motivated to continue and work harder for perfection. After going through a disciplined learning and practice over a decade, students aspire to enter the stage as a solo dancer, what we call as Ranga Puja. This sets an important milestone in the life of an Odissi dancer which brings a good deal of self-awareness to define the thoughts, words and actions to manifest the best versions of dance, devotion and delight on stage and off stage. I Gurukul is not just a school but a community where students, parents and teachers strive together in bringing the best in each other. We focus on individual growth and team spirit, a robust culture for learning, accomplishments, and perfection towards being a complete dancer and, of course, a wonderful human being.
sun Yeah All this talk about being in love I can never get into the party Never really understood um, I started Odyssey when I was about like seven years old um, Before that I did volleyball for a few years but then, like, I'd seen over the years my friends and, like, I did dancing and I thought, you know, I want to do that too. I find Odyssey super interesting and, like, learning the classical dance would be um, really cool too. Oh, see, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, don't get any Odyssey definitely like requires more like stamina and patience. I feel like Bollywood is more of a free form, and um, I don't know. I always found like Odyssey, in my personal opinion, more difficult than Bollywood because you know it's like a technical dance. You have to think of expressions and like stamping your torso, and yeah. So I find um, Odyssey to be distinctly different from Bollywood, and something that kind of enjoy more also. Have you practiced any other Indian classical dance? Um. I've performed like folk, but just like sometimes for some functions, but like my main classical dance has been Odyssey always. Yeah, so Ranga Puja is basically like um like so of like a graduation or like a big celebration of all these years of dancing and hard work and you just um, take everything you've learned um, over the years and put into this big performance, pretty long performance, um, about like an hour or so. And yeah, I think um, Arangupuja is definitely a lot of hard work. You have to like commit physically and mentally, like long practices, you know, you have to, um, sometimes you'll feel tired, but you have to keep going. And a lot of it, a lot of it is about, um, you know, like, finding yourself and um, just growing as a dancer and showing everyone like over the years how much you've learned and um, yeah. I wish I would have known. I was stuck about being in love. So my favorite would have to be Dasavatar because like um, growing up I was like kind of I was with like the younger kids and I would see the older kids like doing this with and learning and I also thought it was really cool and I was like oh I really hope I can learn that one day and then when Gaitandi suggested I do it for my Rangu Puja I was like really excited um, at first I was a little hesitant I was like oh what if I can't do it like what if it's too hard but you know practicing a lot and like really like having Gaitandi tell me the story and like understanding it helped a lot and kind of get into the character and really understand um, like how much work goes into it pretty long dance and yeah and I love doing like like Abhinaz and like just combining the elements of like, like stamping and expressions and I find it really fun. So I would say make sure you're like fully ready for it, like ready to commit to several months of practicing and stuff because it's a lot. Um, you know, before like in annual function and stuff, you should perform like one item. Rest of the puja, it's like five or six. And um, yeah, just make sure you're really ready for it and dance is something you truly enjoy and you're willing to commit um, your time. And you have to have a lot of patience for it because sometimes, sometimes you have bad days and sometimes you have good days. So, but overall it's a really um, great experience. You know, I learned a lot about myself as a dancer and I'm really glad that I chose to do my own puja. Rains up, memories you play in my mind. Then boy, have yeah, so like I said, Rangu is a lot of work. Um, getting all the stuff ready, like the pictures and like the food and the venue and stuff. That was a lot of work for my parents, but they've always been like super supportive and are willing to like drive me to practices and then you know do all the stuff for me and I really appreciate that. And I think as much as it is like difficult for me, you know, learning the dances, perfecting the expressions, it was a lot of work for them, you know, managing and organizing such a big event. But I'm really glad they like helped me and stuck through it like all the way to the end and they're gonna like be there to support me on the big day, which is something I'm really uh, glad about. Hey, mom. Is it 
So yeah, like the Rangpu is a lot of hard work and my parents and all the volunteers involved have done a lot like for the venue, for the food, the decorations and I really appreciate them doing that because like it's a lot of hard work for me obviously, you know, um, like learning the dances, perfecting the expressions, but for them, you know, to give their time and support is something that um, I'm really glad that they were there for me and that they'll be there to support me on my big day. Guru Gayatri Joshi is a highly accomplished Odissi exponent and cultural connoisseur who has been dancing for more than 30 years. She has performed internationally in prestigious festivals and she touches everyone's heart and souls everywhere she goes with her sharp expression and grace. Aside from being a gifted dancer, she has brought tears and smiles to people's faces through her brilliant choreography she is also an exceptional and nurturing teacher who has been teaching for the past 15 years. As an active volunteer for many non-profit organizations, she collaborates with many accomplished artists and gurus to make spectacular stage shows and dance productions. She is a software engineer by profession, but her passion for DC dance led her to form and establish her own school I Gurukul Odissi in 2007. Her dream is to share the great lineage of dance to the next generation while keeping its authenticity and purity. I Gurukul Odissi, affiliated to Prachin Kala Kendra Chandigarh University, preserves the Indian classical heritage by promoting Odissi dance and music. Odissi classes are structured, interactive, and inclusive. We focus on building foundational techniques and polishing each dance movement to ensure every dancer's holistic growth under the direct guidance of Guru Gayatri Joshi and team. The Aigurukul faculty consists of graduated students, renowned dance exponents of Chau and Manipuri dance forms, yoga, and spiritual healers along with accomplished masters and musicians from Odisha. Students are nurtured, equipped with the right knowledge, tools, and techniques to understand the social and spiritual context and overcome the cross-cultural challenges. Some of the popular and powerful Vedic concepts and prayers such as Vaishnava Janto, Panchabhuta, Sankhya, Abhimukta, and Navavida Bhakti, and more are turned into Indian classical dance productions involving all students, teachers, musicians, and other schools and institutions. 
Applied Yoga and Mindfulness Based Positive Life Skills Trainings Offered by Wellness Guru Manoj Joshi Has truly turned iGurukul ODC A life changing platform for many Each year the interested students Appear for formal examinations With Prachin Kala Kendra Students showcase their talents At various cultural shows Within the USA and internationally Selected students, once graduated, get a chance to join iGurukul faculty and make the organization stronger. This makes them feel motivated to continue and work harder for perfection. After going through a discipline learning and practice over a decade, students aspire to enter the stage as a solo dancer, what we call as Ranga Puja. This sets an important milestone in the life of an Odissi dancer which brings a good deal of self-awareness to define the thoughts, words and actions to manifest the best versions of dance, devotion and delight on stage and off stage. I Gurukul is not just a school but a community where students, parents and teachers strive together in bringing the best in each other. We focus on individual growth and team spirit, a robust culture for learning, accomplishments and perfection towards being a complete dancer and of course a wonderful human being. Welcome back, friends. I hope the sugar amount in the tea was good enough to energize all of you. Right? So we are going to enjoy the second part of the Ranga Puja, Tamanas Ranga Puja. Before I say anything, I was so thrilled by that 
act of Devi. I think Devi has, as I was telling you, we are, our preparedness of left nostril breathing might have helped you a little bit to receive the grace from the goddess. And second of all, Dr. Sangeeta Gosai has sung the real song of Devi in the Bay Area for the last few, at least five years, I've seen, or five to ten years. And it has created a sensational thrilling among all the auditoriums that all the children of Aiguru Kulodisi have performed Devi program. And I remember um, when um, a group of dancers practiced Devi, at some point, like after the Devi wins over the evil, then she would stand up on the top of somebody and she would laugh out loud. So I've seen Tamana doing most of the time and then Mega also does that. It's a very nice moment where you see that one dancer will be like in dog and, a cat and dog position and another person will stand on top of that and then laugh out loud. So that was a good expression that I still remember. So um, we'll continue with our dance and right now there is a beautiful piece that is coming up which will connect to the evolution of our own self. Like we will compare whatever that you have learned from Darwin's theory of evolution to what our ancestors, our sages talked about and you'll do a comparison between them and which one has got more holistic perspective, right? So I will leave you with that insightful thought that how we can compare and who we are and how we have been evolving constantly, both physically, mentally, emotionally, socially, and also spiritually. And technology is playing a major role in that, isn't it? We all from Silicon Valley that we know how much technology is playing a role in terms of bringing out the spirituality in us, right? So I always believe that Silicon Valley is in the cross-section of spirituality and technology. And then we are witnessing the transformation in a rapid way thanks to the technological advancement also. So with that, we will continue um, another breathing technique and which will be very much prepared to the next item, not the one, the Sabatar, after that. And you will connect why. So this is called right nostril breathing. Just like you learned the Chandravedan Pranayam, you can guess the name could be Surya Vedan Pranayam. At the right side of our body is representing the sun, which represents our body, physical body, and the moon represents our mind. So in order to receive the grace from the Lord, from the Devas, from the Purusha, from the Shiva, from the Krishna, we have to prepare our body when the right nostril is more active. Right? So left nostril is more cooling brain. It it's cools down the mind. Anytime that you have a lot of heat, like anger, frustration, stress, high blood pressure, you should do the left nostril breathing at least five minutes every day. But when you have low blood pressure, you should do the law, right nostril breathing, which will activate you. If you're dull, lethargic, you know, you need to ignite yourself, you need to do the sun energy to ignite the pingala nadi. Right? So for that, the same mudra will do it for five times. So pointers in the middle finger, put it in between the two eyebrows, pointing at your pineal gland, and use your thumb and the ring finger to control the left and right nostril, right? So right now, we'll start with the right nostril exhalation, then inhale to the right, we'll exhale to the left, and again inhale to the right, exhale to the left, we'll do five times, good? So this is called Nasik Agra Mudra. I prefer this mudra from Vishnu Mudra because this is good to do some acupressure on the pineal gland, okay? So keep these two fingers in between the two eyebrows. Please participate, you'll like it. Then close your left nostril with your ring finger and breathe out to the right. First breathe out to the right. Now breathe in to the right. Think about the sun. Now close your right with your thumb and breathe out to the left. Good. Now inhale to the right again. Close your right, open your left, breathe out. Double the time. Again, open your right, breathe in to the right. Breathe out to your left. If you're breathing into the count of five, to the right, breathe out to the count of ten, a little bit longer, because you have a lot of stress. Let go of all the stress, anxiety, all the heat that you have created. Breathe in to the right, breathe out to your left. One more time, breathe in to the right, and breathe out to your left. Very good. Now drop your hands down, enjoy the calmness that you're seeing inside your mind, because every time you do some pranayama practice at home, like five minutes, 10 minutes, you must add a little moment of meditation. Because if your vital body is going through some transformation, your mind has to calm down to witness that, to experience that. So for that moment of experience, you need to quieten your mind and just observe your body like a witness. That has been the technique that all these sages practiced so that there will be beautiful balance of the mind. And when you balance our left and right brain, our left and right brain, 
represent the logical and the creative mind, then automatically you'll become more calm and peaceful, and then only you can enjoy life more. So with that, let me check if you're ready for starting the, the Savatar. Welcome back. How is intermission? Are you ready for the second half of the show? I am too. We will begin the second half of the program with an Abhinaya. Geet Govind Dasavatar. Geet Govind is one of the most celebrated lyrical poetries from India immortalizing the sacred love story of Krishna, the supreme divinity, with his beloved consort Radha. It was composed in the 12th century by the poet Jayadeva, a renowned scholar. Thus Avatar is the very first song of Geet Govind. Poet Jayadev glorifies and describes the 10 incarnations of Lord Krishna. Now I would like to call Tamana for a demo. The first incarnation is Matsya, or the fish, to protect the Vedas. The second incarnation is Kurma, or the tortoise, on whose back Mandara mountain was churned. The third incarnation is Varaha, or the wild boar, who rescued Mother Earth. The fourth incarnation is Narasimha, or half man, half lion, who killed the demon Hiranyakashipu to protect his devotee, Prahalad. The fifth incarnation is Bamana, or the dwarf, who destroyed the pride of King Bali. The sixth incarnation is Parshuram, or the warrior Brahman, who destroyed the world 21 times to teach lessons to the evil Kshatriya warriors. The seventh incarnation is Rama, a noble king who killed the 10-headed demon Ravana to restore truth and righteousness. The eighth incarnation is Balaram, older brother of Krishna, who used the plow to irrigate and water the land and used it as a weapon to protect the farmers. The ninth incarnation is Buddha, the enlightened one, with a compassionate heart, who decried slaughtering of the poor animals used for Vedic sacrifice. The tenth and final incarnation is Kalki, which is yet to come at the end of Kali Yuga to annihilate the wicked barbarians with a terrifying sword who appears like a comet. Rag Kalyani, Tal Jhampa, Dance Choreography, Guru Deva Prasad Das. Das Avatar.
दैत्यंग Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
been such a wonderful and supportive audience thank you so much and i was looking at tamanna from the side it was like a goosebumps right i mean the way she narrated the whole story her foot works and her eyes and expressions and then smile on her face and the beautiful music the light the sound and everything let's give a standing ovation das avatar lord jagannath is witnessing thank you so much it's such a beautiful piece to tell the story of how our sages were so wise to talk about the evolution of mankind thank you very much thank you very much for your gesture so on a lighter note i was just thinking about a joke um, i would like to share that so one little girl was um, listening to the discussions about um, evolution darwin's theory of evolution and different kind of mythological stories of evolution and she got confused and she call comes to her mom mom hey you tell that we came from the god but my dad tells that we came from the monkeys i'm so confused then the mother said like don't worry honey dad is telling about his family side and i'm talking about my family side <laughs> so <laughs> there is always a sense of humor <laughs> about this evolution so um, you know the evolution doesn't stop any time if you look at you know we have got lot up to lot of evolution to happen in our own personal life what sri arobindo and sri ma talks about superhuman like we have been 
a human being, but beyond the human, how we can become a superhuman, where we have no words, we build trust from each other, love, kindness, compassion, all the spiritual qualities that Satyug talks about. And I'll just uh, talk about one point of story that I always believe in that, you know, all these yugs that we talk about, Kali Yug, Satya Yug, Dwapar Yug, Treta Yug, these are not linear in time. I believe they are cyclic in time. So what it means is like, you know, in this Kali Yug time also, many of you, uh, many of us might be living in Satya Yug era because of our truthful nature. We trust people, we lo are loving, kind, all these principles of Satya Yug, we are enlivening right now. So it's a cyclic concept. So, encourage yourself to be in that mode what your Swadharma talks about, what is your true nature talks about. Even though we are in the living Kali Yuga time, but still we might be in Satya Yuga or Dwapar Yuga time. So, with that, a little bit of insight. So, keep breathing through the right nostril. We are going to witness a wonderful masterpiece, the next program, which is about Lord Krishna. See, we are bringing all the gods and goddesses here before you. And then the right nostril breathing would help you to receive the grace from Lord Krishna. So, let's proceed to the next item. Achitam Keshavam. Thank you. So as Manan Jankal said, our next item is Architam Keshavam. Architam Keshavam is a popular bhajan based on Sri Adi Sankacharya's Architastakam which highlights the power of devotion, pakti. The song points to the invaluable eternal link that unites humanity to the consciousness of the divine. Arjitam means eternal. Geshavam is the one with beautiful hair and who kills the demons. This song depicts stories of devotees like Mira, Shabri, the gopis, and Mata Yashoda. The language of a true devotee comes from the heart with true love and devotion, which melts the differences between human and divine. Rag, Mr. Kamaz, Tal, Ektali, poet, Sri Adi Sankacharya, music composition, Swapneswar Chakravati, and dance choreography, Guru Gayatri Joshi. Now, I would like to invite Damana to demonstrate the story a little bit f further and explain the four types of Abhinayas. So Damana will take it from here. Hi, can everyone hear me? Yeah. Okay, um, are you guys enjoying the Ranga Puja so far? <laughs> um, so before I um, explain the stories of Achitam Keshavam, I wanted to talk a little more about the type of dance it is, which is an Abhinaya. Um, this Abhinaya is special to me because it was like the first Abhinaya I learned when I was like eight years old. So this is like you know, a little more advanced version, but it's still like pretty special to me. Um, and since it is an Abhinaya, I want to explain what exactly is an Abhinaya. Does anyone know? Anyone want to? <laughs> That's true. Abhinaya, part of Abhinaya is expression. There's also storytelling <laughs> through um, singing songs, gestures, and like you said, expression. Um, there are four main components or types. So there's Angika, there's uh, Vachika, there's Aharya, and there's Sattvika. So the first type, Angika, is basically um, about Bhedas or gestures and movements. So we use like head movements or hand movements to um, display something. So for example, if I went like this, would anyone be able to tell me what I'm trying to display here? Yes, very good. <laughs> um, so yeah, we use those different gestures and storytelling. Um, the second type is vachika. Vachika means narration or storytelling. This is more often used in like theater. Both Odyssey, um, we express it through, our, um, through the song. Um, the third type is aharya, which means like costumes or jewelry. Um, if you see a dancer with like a flute or a feather, you know, you would um, ex like expect that it's Krishna, right? Because these are like the physical attributes that Krishna has. Or if you want to go for a more um, like literal example, if you see someone in a Santa Claus costume, obviously they're Santa Claus, you know, like, right? <laughs> um, and the final type is sattvika, which means like expression or bhava. And Odyssey, we usually display these through our eye movements or drishti movements. So when we're mad, you know, we might like make our eyes really big 
or if we're sad, you know, we kind of like bend down. Or if we're happy, we, our eyes kind of like light up and spark with joy. Um, so yeah, those are the four types of Abhinaya, and I would encourage you guys during my next item to see if you can spot the four types, and yeah. <laughs> um, so now I want to talk about my actual item, Achitam Keshavam. So there's four main verses the, um, of, uh, based on Krishna, Lord Krishna. The first wor- verse says, Kaun keta hai Bhagavan aate nahi. So it's saying, who says God doesn't come? Um, in this story, we see Mira, who is a devotee of Lord Krishna. Mira drinks poison. However, she is saved by Lord Krishna. Uh, this verse shows that God does come for his truest devotees. Um, the second, uh, sorry, saying um so much. <laughs> the second story is about Shabari, who is a devotee of Lord Ram. She picks out berries and tastes them to see if they're sweet or if they're bitter. And this verse says, Kaun keta hai Bhagavan khate nahi? So who says God doesn't eat? In this story, we see that God eats when he's fed um, with love and affection. The third um, story is about Mata Yashoda, who is the mother of Lord Krishna. Each night, she tucks in Lord Krishna with um, utmost care and makes sure he sleeps soundly. This verse says, Kaun keta hai Bhagavan sote nahi? Who says God doesn't sleep? Um, the final one is, Kaun keta hai Bhagavan bansi bajati nahi? Who says Lord Krishna doesn't play his flute? In this verse, we see um, Radha and the gopis, and they are enchanted by Lord Krishna's flute playing. And that is the story of Achitam Keshavam. I um, hope you guys enjoy. <laughs>
बचाते is such a wonderful storyteller i have seen her watching um, the small kid she will come to aigurukul studio and then all around megha kabya and all her little friends and she would tell the stories to them i was doing meditation i was close my eyes and just pretending to meditate but i was just listening to her stories <laughs> so you know we all need a storyteller like to be a good dancer need to be a storyteller not only dancer like in the silicon valley also what the ceos do they tell the stories isn't it so tamana is going to pursue her medical science um, pre med in uc davis i'm sure like when she becomes a doctor more than medicine her storytelling skill would also heal the patients so so far tamana has told the story of mangala charan which relates to her first decade of her life pallavi when we blossoming the adolescent part of her life then we did all kind of this um, abhinaya then the love and then diplomacy and politics and all kind of things lord krishna ta taught us about that now what what will happen now we are going to different aspects of our life not just necessarily in the old age because i have told the time is cyclic so every stage of our life we need to experience that calmness that trance state of mind that balanced state of mind that peaceful mind and for that we need to have a balanced state of mind isn't it so for that the breathing comes we have already learned the left nostril breathing chandra vedan pranayam right nostril breathing surya vedan pranayam now we'll learn everything together to make a beautiful balance of the ida and pingala which will give rise to the susumna nadi the chandra nadi parasympathetic nervous system the surya nadi sympathetic nervous system and then the central nervous system in medical terms so let's do that so keep your same mudras two fingers pointing at the pineal gland in between the two eyebrows the thumb and the ring finger will control the left and right so what we'll do is we'll take a breath through both the nostrils and we'll breathe out to the left then breathe in to the left breathe out to the right now breathe in to the right and breathe out to the left that makes one cycle we'll make three cycles right now this is just a demo you can practice it at home so keep your mudra nasika agra mudra so first take a nice breath with both the nostrils inhale now close your right and breathe out to the left now breathe in to the left nostril now close your left open your right breathe out Now again, breathe in to the right. Close your right. Open your left. Breathe out. This makes one cycle. Second cycle. Breathe in to the left. 
Breathe out to the right. Breathe in to the right. And breathe out to the left. Third cycle. Inhale to the left. Exhale to the right. Inhale to the right. And exhale to the left. Now just drop your hands down, keep your eyes a little bit closed, just relax, that beautiful state of mind, beautiful state of your body that we are enjoying this moment. And now the next item would be moksha, beautiful item, we'll enjoy that. So it looks like we've made it to our final item. How are you Yay. feeling? Yay. More importantly, how are you enjoying Thamana's performance? <laughs> now Thamana will present her last item, moksha. In Hindu tradition, moksha is the liberation of the spirit. This is the final piece of the ODC repertoire. Moksha, the salvation, is a pure dance, a dance of joy, a dance of celebration, a dance of the body and soul where the dancer becomes one with the dance as she offers herself in complete surrender to the divine. Rag Bhairavi, Tal Ek Tali, dance choreography Guru Jyoti Raut, Shloka Shanti Prayer, Shloka Choreography, Guru Gaiti Joshi, Moksha. Ta 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 
satam tagadi gana dina kadatak dina kadatak dina kadatak dina kadatak chenam takita takta takum takati gana chenam takita takta takum takati gana chenam takita takta takum takati gana dina kadatak dina kadatak dina kadatak dina kadatak chenam takita tak satam tagadi gana satam tagadigan satam tadadagadigan dha dinakte te ta ta dinakte te ta dikta dha dinakte te ta dinak dina dha te tak dinata dha dha dinakte te ta ta dinakta dha dha dinakte te ta ta dinakta dha ta te tak dinata
What a beautiful way to end this beautiful Ranga Puja that Tamana did with a peace prayer. And also we'll extend this peace prayer. Sarvisham Swastir Bhavatu, Sarvisham Shantir Bhavatu, Sarvisham Purnam Bhavatu, Sarvisham Mangalam Bhavatu, Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Now that the hard part is over, let me just lighten you up a little bit more. Like, you know, if you were a little bit not very careful, you might have picked up that word Purna Mada. And then you might be relating Mada to Moksha, which is not right, right? So it just reminds me of a lighter joke. So one day it so happened that one priest or one father in a church, he was giving a talk on addiction, like not to be addicted, right? He talked about, if I had all the beers of the world, I would throw that in the river. If I had all the wine in the world, I'll go and throw it in the river. If I had all the whiskey of the world, I'll go and throw it in the river. He went on saying like that. And after the speech is done, one person from the audience is like, Sir, can we have our next prayer on the bank of that river? <laughs> well, we can't promise that. But tomorrow, there is a beautiful moment that you all can come and celebrate. Celebrate the graduations of your uh, loved ones, your sons and daughters, or just celebrate the beautiful musicians that we have got the privilege with. And then tomorrow there's a musical night in our center wellness by all means in Fremont. So we'll promise that there will be a river of divine, not wine, okay? So we'll enjoy every moment of it. So please feel yourself uh, privileged and be invited to uh, be our guest tomorrow night, five to eight. And there is a potluck dinner also. So there was an invite sent. So I hope you would come there and enjoy the last day with, uh, with lovely musicians. So with that, we will complete uh, the part, the last part of this ceremony. I will call Sanuja to come and then do the rest uh, with Tamana speech, with everything else. There is still left, okay? And then after the dinner also will be served. So please bear with us So a uh, few more moments. So I know you've been hearing from three different MCs tonight. But let's hear from the person who we all want to hear from, right? So I'd like to invite Tamana onto the stage so that she can address all of you, as well as tell us how she's feeling after completing all of this. Hi guys, how are you doing? I already asked that, but I'm going to ask again. You doing good? Yeah? Um, I'll be honest, I was like talking to my friends backstage, and I was like, honestly, by Mangotron, probably we feel like it was yesterday. Like, this whole day has been such a blur, but it's been like so amazing and so fun and like so gratifying that 
Like, I remember thinking, like, oh, my God, like, I'm not going to be able to do it, you know. I don't have enough stamina or, like, something's going to go wrong. But obviously, like, not everything is perfect, but today was um, the best that it could be, and I'm really grateful for that. Um, so I want to start off by thanking everyone for coming today, you know, spending your Saturday afternoon and evening with me. It really means a lot. Um, this Ranga Puja has truly been a journey, and I've grown along the way. And um, dance has always been a part of my life. It's basically like my creative outlet, you know, my art. And my Odyssey journey has been pretty eventful since I started dancing at a pretty young age, like about seven. Um, but I would say I've definitely made progress. Like, for example, my stamina has increased. Like, I remember thinking, oh my god, a 10-minute dance sounds so hard. But like now dancing for like about an hour, I'm like, okay, well, I guess I made some progress. Um, I'm get, like getting better at understanding the stories. You know, when I was like I was saying earlier, um, I learned Achyutam Keshavam at eight, and you know back then I didn't really understand. I was just kind of doing it. But now, like I actually understand the stories and like the true meaning behind them. And I've also improved my expressions. I would say, um, my uncle Puja taught me that a lot of time and patience is needed for this. A lot of um, like mental energy, physical energy. Like you need to motivate yourself a lot, and it helps to have like people around you motivate you. Um, it was cool to be able to incorporate like my own steps into this. For example, like my mango chard. Um, I at, like I asked Gareth to do like kind of later on. But I was like, oh, can we add some like karate elements to it because like karate is a big part of my life. And she was like, yeah, sure. Um, you know, it's not like, kicking isn't like super traditional, but I still want to incorporate it, so I tried to. <laughs> um, and yeah, obviously a large amount of effort, um, like, a large amount of effort was made to make sure this happened, so I'm just going to like, thank as many people as I can. So I want to thank everyone who was part of the decoration, you know, the stage, the lobby, can we get a round of applause for them? Um, I want to thank um, everyone backstage, like, you know, those lighting, sound, makeup, fanning me constantly, giving me food, water. Um, it was really appreciated. Um, they're like, you know, they're in the background today. They definitely helped a lot. Um, I also thank the musicians, uh, many of who came from India, just to help Mehran Puja be better. So we get a round of applause for them, too. I also want to thank my family for running around with the past um, few months, actually more than a few months, it's been a long time, um, making sure that, you know, everything was possible, everything's successful, you know, driving me to practices, especially my mom who, like, these past, like, two weeks sat with me through every practice, and my dad who drove me there, so I just want to thank them for that. Um, finally, I want to thank Guy Thiranti for dedicating her busy time to me um, and giving me motivation when I needed it. This wrong Buddha taught me that I have like good long-term memory but bad short-term memory. So for example, like Guy Dandy will teach me a step and then two minutes later I'll forget it. I don't know what it is, but I just get like overwhelmed or something and I just forget it. But then like you ask me a few weeks later, I'll get it. So I don't know. That was I thought that was interesting. Um, yeah, she's been such a great teacher and she got me to where I am today. And yeah, I just want to say thank you so so much for everyone coming today. This is so surreal, like I can't believe it happened. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, and I hope you enjoyed. Thanks, Thummy. I'd like to now invite Guru Gayatri Joshi onto the stage to share some words with us. Congratulations, Tamanna. She did a wonderful job. I'm so proud of you. Wow. <laughs> Can't believe this is the, the last uh, Ranga Puja of this season. Um, I would like to first thank you all. Um, you have been a wonderful audience. Just give a applause for yourself. Thank you. On a Saturday night to come here and spend the night. I hope you got, you all enjoyed the evening. Um, I enjoyed it a lot. <laughs> and um, about Tamanna, she is one of my most sincere students in the class. She never forgets to do her homework. 
and she would look at the people who didn't do the homework she would look at them like this oh my god <laughs> she's like she in the when she was a little kid she will come to the class and then if she will come prepared if somebody didn't come prepared and because i would not teach the next steps she would be very mad at them <laughs> but that mad uh, tamanna is gone i don't know when we lost her <laughs> so now she is discomposed matured calm hard working talented everything all together in one package and that's tamanna <laughs> a room is not built in a single day it takes years years and years of uh, effort to come here and again it's not perfect nothing is perfect um, the journey starts here and that's where every, every all of us but just to come here to perform uh, in front of this audience and uh, we have a lot of educated uh, audience here it's not like people don't know odissi here in bay area lot of us know how odissi is um and what odc is and to perform in front of that audience literate audience is a tough job so tamanna did it very well thank you tamanna again and um um as you know the teachers are the biggest critic uh, and of course the biggest support uh, it's it's always a uh, journey um, that uh, is very rewarding I don't know about Tamanna, but I always learn a lot from these kids. As as I go through one by one by one by one, I I definitely learn a lot, and that's a learning experience for me. And I'm sure it will um, it adds to my life skills. So I'm really grateful uh, that uh, I'm able to do this. And I would like to thank uh, the two wonderful parents, <laughs> Dolly and Kishor Bhai, of course, uh, for. bringing tamana and giving her so much of value and uh, uh, letting her do um, what she is doing today uh, so thank you so much uh, now i would like to uh, invite my guru guru jyoti raut jyoti pa please come and bless tamana um, without that it's not complete समस्त को नमस्कार जय जगन्नाथ गायत्री कंग्राचुलेसन तमन्ना कंग्राचुलेसन तमन्ना रो पेरेंट्स कंग्राचुलेसन आते सपोर्ट आमर जो कम्युनिटी ये आसिक ए जिनसटा को कंटिन्यू कर सहयोग कर आशीर्वाद करपण मान भी बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद सो दिस रंगा पूजा I'm switching to English so the new generation will understand also. Um, I'll just take two minutes with your permission. I want to share something. The Ranga Puja I started 27, 28 years ago when I started Jyoti Kala Mandir, and Gayatri is one of my first batch who did Ranga Puja. So big applause for her. but i feel that i feel responsible that now ranga puja everybody is doing it and it's a something that is very much appreciated very much supported and very much needed that everybody is doing it and i'm very proud of that that everybody have adopted understood and trying to do this uh, seeing the the benefit from it, getting benefit from ranga puja so i feel responsible to address that is not only our responsibility who are teaching odissi also is responsibility of each and every people belong or related or appreciating odissi 
This is a pride of Odisha. This is a pride of our state, our Odia Jatiro pride, our Jagannath's pride. So let's take responsibility to keep it the way we will give the best to our next generation and next generation will carry on. She did a wonderful job. And really, it's a, it's a art which takes you to salvation. Like we finished with moksha, that um, you know, it takes to salvation. So it's a path of salvation. Let's hand down to our kids to its best form. And I bless this evening, I bless Tamanna, that she will understand the connection, her connection with the dance, and her connection with this world, and her connection with herself, and her roots. And same thing with all the kids who are coming years will be doing Ranga Puja, that there is deep connection with sadhana when you're practicing dance, how you are knowing your body, your mind, your strength, your weaknesses. It's very important to go through with journey and only comes with hours of practice. And your connection with your guru, your connection with your teacher. As long you're connected, you prosperous. When you disconnect, then you can be alive for a little bit, but not too long. Then you are going to go down. So that's why let's all stay connected and please give feedback to each other, give feedback to me. We depend on you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. matching the costumes. Yeah. Yeah. I would now like to invite the last Ranga Puja recipient, Vrinda Ch Chhatrapati, to Yay. give Tamana the plaque and for Guru Gayatri Joshi to give shawl and flowers to Tamana. I would now like to invite the musicians to the stage for appreciation in their contribution to this Ranga Puja. They're an integral part. Uh, they provide the music, they provide the liveliness, they provide the rhythm, the composition that the dancer dances to. One small thing I'll say before we invite all of them onto the stage. This group of mus musicians have performed with three Ranga Pujas this year. I know when we see Ranga Puja, we say, oh, Tamana has performed six different dances. But if you think about the musicians, they've had to learn 15 unique items this year and have had to perform in tandem with each other and had to learn each one of those, one after another, when they perform. So big round of applause for the musicians, please. So I would like to now call them up onto the stage. Dr. Sangeeta Gosain on female vocals. Guru Swapneshwar Chakrabarti on sitar. Munjoti Simadre on flute. Guru Buddhanath Swain on mardal. Dilip Acharya on male vocals. And of course, Guru Gaiti Joshi on Manjira. I would now like to invite Gaiti and Guru Gaiti Joshi to felic felicitate the musicians.
Igar Kalodisi would like to felicitate uh, Dr. Sangeeta Gosain, the creative cultural connoisseur awarded to Sangeeta Gosain for an outstanding contribution to the world of Odyssey music and dance, promoting Igurkul's missions of preserving the Indian classical heritage. Again, I, Gurukul Odissi, would like to felicitate um, creative cultural connoisseur awarded to Sopnesha Chakravarti. You are an outstanding contribution to the world of Odissi dance and music. Another one, Creative Cultural Connoisseur, awarded to Buddhanath Swain for an outstanding contribution to the world of Odyssey music and dance, promoting Ayagurukul's mission in preserving Indian classical heritage. We would like to honor uh, the first time and uh, the most popular one among us, M. Simadre, for his outstanding performance and contribution towards Ranga Puja 2022. Last but not the least, he saved us this time. And not only saved us, he performed uh, so well. Uh, excellent. Uh, I, I cannot thank him enough. You know the name. Yes. Let's have one more huge round of applause. And finally, I'd like to invite two of the most important people who are responsible in part for this evening to come and share their thoughts and provide a vote of thanks. So without further ado, I would like to invite Kishore Uncle and Dolly Mossi. Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you, everyone, for coming today and make this evening a great evening. So I, I prepared uh, my speech. It's kind of speech. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> So wonderful audience who, made, who have made this evening very enjoyable. And uh, there is no thanks enough to appreciate uh, what audience uh, brings in. They are the other half of the show. Next, I would like to thank Guru Gayatri Joshi, who is the embodiment of perpetual energy, always innovating and striving for the best. Today's Rangapuja has not been, would not have been possible without her encouragement, support, and belief in Tamanna. She is the force behind this uh, great evening and the whole journey Tamanna has taken. And next, I would like to thank uh, our MCs, beautiful MCs, Sanuja Das, who is an excellent MC and did an excellent job today and Sulagna Mahanti, our new rising star. Thanks, Sanuja and Sulagna.
Yes, I, how can I forget Monoj ji? <laughs> Our wellness guru Monoj Joshi is full of energy, new ideas and a very close friend of mine. When Guru Monoj ji with, is with you, you, stress cannot just touch you. <laughs> Next, our stage manager, Sangram Patnaik. <laughs> His meticulous planning and immaculate execution gives peace of mind. He is always giving the best. Thanks, Sangram. Lighting, Ajay Shahu and Niti. Lighting brings color and depth. And thanks to both Ajay and Niti for doing an excellent job today. You all saw it. <laughs> Sound, an integral part of the show. Subhas Kasnavis or Subhas Bhai is a maestro in music. My salute to his depth of knowledge in, in music and composition. So on the backstage, I would uh, like to thank uh, Mita Maharana, Ipsita Choudhury, Megha Joshi, Banani Vasundara, Sharita Patnaik, Indrani Mahanti, Shelly, Shanika Kamde. They are behind the scenes, but the most vital part of this. <laughs> and, and Brinda too. Dancers helps. Uh, Brinda, Megha, Banani, Sanika, Malvika, same goes here. They are the dream team. Uh, next is the food team. Bandana Naik, Shubhashini Sharangi, Anup Naik, Sapan Panigrai, Satya Pradhan, Dhiran Bevarta, Deepak Naik, Sushant Mahanti, Vivek Das, Mamta Das, Anusha Mahanti, Monalisha Bevarta, Seema Naik, and Sarita Patnaik, our whole Odia gang. <laughs> but let me give special thanks to Bandana. When Bandana is there, you can stay assured you will get the best food and you don't have to worry about it. And thanks Bandana and Guli and the team. Let's come to the stage decorations. The beautiful decoration you see today is Mamata Das, Upa Pradhan, Sima Naik, Anushaya Mahanti, Sharita Patnaik, Indrani Mahanti. Mamata Das and Pupa and the team always images us with the creativity. Thank you all. And lobby decoration, when you entered, that was like, wow, what a creation. Kuku Das, Munalisha Bevarta, Indrani Mahanti, Suvasini Shalangi, Bandana Naik, Vivek Das, Samar Maharana, Satya Pradhan, Priyam Mahanti, Aniket Mishra, Banesh Gosheng. So there are like whole team, they have been working since yesterday. You should have seen like everything, like they put up, bring all the stuff and slowly and steadily things are falling in place and the beauty is coming out. Kuku is the true architect who can create wonders with her imaginations. We are fortunate to see it today. Thanks, Kuku and the team. <laughs> Photography, Benu, Adya, Sarita, they are simply the best. Thank you. <laughs> Printing video, Monoj Joshi, the video you saw today, this is all Monoj's creations, and these are a treat to our eyes. Thanks, Monoj. Thank Other volunteers, Purna Mahanti, Mehul Chhatrapati, Komal, Sushant Das, Bhankar Bhampati, Shamita Das, and all Aigurkul students and parents. These are the friends who you can ask for anything without thinking twice. They are always there for us. They provide their support and help. Thank you. And uh, now to our beloved and esteemed musicians, Buddhanath Swain, or Buddhya Sar, Supreshwar Chakravarti or Mitu Sar, Dilip Acharya 
our Bay Area Rising Star and Kalashri Awardee. Subhas Kasnavis, Munujit Simadri, expert in sound department. Sankita Gosai, what a melodious voice she has. And Gayatri Joshi, a guru and an inspiration to all. So what can I say? We are so fortunate to have them almost for a month now. And they have created magic with four Rangapujas. A big round of applause to them. And uh, last but not the least, I would like to thank our theatre team, Chris, Jasper and the team, the true professionals who have helped us every step of the way and make this program possible. Uh, thank you all. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> thank you, everybody. Thanks for, <laughs> Thanks for coming. Oh, thanks for my beautiful audience. And, <laughs> and thank you so much, Gayatri Joshi. And congratulations, Tamanna. You did it today. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> and, sorry. And uh, what else? I don't know. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what can I say? He said everything. So thank you. Big thank you. <laughs> Big hug. Thank you. Thank you all. You know, Thank you all. I, would, I would like to conclude this um, with a, you know, one day we were just uh, sitting um, in our backyard and then uh, Kisurbhai and we were talking about like what special uh, am I going to bring uh, as an MC to this uh, program. And uh, uh, Tamana was of course uh, practicing her dance inside. So I was talking about maybe we'll relate to Silicon Valley's business model, like you know, how the dance relates to the business aspect of her life. So of course like now we didn't talk too much about that. but. While just sitting down there, I just uh, thought about one idea. So uh, Kisarbhai and me, like you know, we uh, often tend to talk about option trading. So if you're uh, not very familiar with that, so there is something called covered call. Like you know, you sell a covered call. Like if you have hundred uh, quantities of a stock, like in Oracle or any company, then you can rent it, like an Airbnb it, and then get the premium and enjoy it every week, every month. So there are a lot of storage behind it. So something similar to this Ranga Puja, right? So think about social capital, think about your goodwill capital, think about your family capital, like this is peace, love, kindness, the cooperation, all the things that we have in our community. So he mortgaged that today, and then he shared that with our community. And what premium did he get? The premium in terms of blessings to Tamanna, goodwill to all our family members, good health, like this is what we get. So this is a simple way how Ranga Puja relates to the option world. So that's what I wanted to conclude this, so business-wise, Ranga Puja sense. Thank you very much. Namaste. <laughs> yeah, actually, I, I just want to add, options I do lose a lot of money, but Ranga Puja I always gain. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. But thank you to my all friends. Without you, we are nothing. So, <laughs> and thank you, my friends, dear friends. Hooray! <laughs> we did it! If you would like to take a picture with Tamana, I would like everyone to file in on this side of the stage, please, so that we don't crash into Jagannath over there. Thank you, and you can proceed to dinner.
Hello. I don't know if you remember. No, I remember you. These, yes, uh, this, this, yeah, 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 yeah. We talked. Yes, we did. Thank you for coming. I always see you in the Livermore Temple performing this, that. So I know you very well. Uh, thank and Dipti so thank you. always says very highly about you. Aww. So she said, go. Take your daughter, go for this. <laughs> so what a beautiful training. What a beautiful performance. Thank and you so much. She did really. Honestly, you did. <laughs> oh, you beautifully accomplished. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Those, those words actually, yeah, please let her also know because, you know, we artists only get those yes. words, Absolutely. words of and appreciation. Yeah. Words. Even though we are not in the same world, we are in the uh, Odia, we are both in the Oh, of course. Yeah. And it's so beautiful. Yeah, really it, is, it, is, it is hard, but beautiful. It is beautiful and she loves it. She is inspired yeah. to do her dance. She, she looks like a dancer. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Absolutely. Oh my God. No, no, no. It's, it's energy. energy is going from here. Energy is going from here. Source. Here is the source. Jagra, the source coming like this. Hey, Mama. I you did wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You did wonderful. You got a photo here? You start Sangre? Oh, oh. We came behind you here. Oh, thank you so much. My daughter is the Odyssey dancer as well. She is learning from Vidishan. She is learning from Dipti Mali. Hi. I love to see you. Thank you. How are you? I haven't seen you guys in a few. Oh, you I come know. to that workshop? Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay, yeah, I know, yeah, but yeah. like, we didn't really touch yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. it. That's good. I'm going to Berkeley. Whoa. That's good. Some people I'm like, eating, I don't like it. <laughs> Wait, what year of high school? I was <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, she's useful, yeah. I was going to go in. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm going to go in. 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 Oh, I'm
Too good, too good. They are too good. He's so nice. Thank you. 